Okay, so we're back on the homestead after seven months of circumnavigating the United States. But today, uh, we wanna talk about some of the mistakes in the foam build that happened along the way. And these drawers are the first one that we're gonna talk about. So look, some of these working great. No problem, they're solid in there. Others of them have a few, a few issues, like this bottom, these bottom two. Uh, I can't even uh, get these uh, open uh, sometimes. Um, I also have been having a problem getting this particular one to stay closed. So to open this bottom one, I have to open this one. Then I have to open this one because as you can see, they're, they're, they're overlapping with each other. And part of this has to do with the way that I, uh, my poor drawer installation uh, skills. Uh, some of them, I was using one of the slotted holes that are meant for adjustments, and I just didn't put the, the, the final screw in to hold it in place. That's not a foam build problem. That's just me being in a hurry at the last minute when I uh, put these drawers in and not realizing it uh, over the course of, of time. So we'll, we'll address that as well. But also, this particular one is moving around in here. Um, and the, the foam anchors have failed uh, in there. So we're gonna need to address that, see if there's a way for us to fix them. Um, other ones of these uh, work just fine. Uh, no, no problems, they seem to be very solid. Um, this one uh, works great, but it does have an issue that because of this open back that I put on it, it's sagging down. And when I go to close it, it intersects with the back of this drawer. So I uh, need to figure out uh, something to, to bring that back up. So we're gonna address those problems today. We're gonna take these drawers out of here, see what's going on in there. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So let's get in here and see what's going on with these. Um, this one, which was the one that was the main problem, it's definitely moving uh, inside of here. It looks like this anchor, and then there's another one here. These are moving around. This middle one seems to be solid. And then some of the ones in the back seem to be moving around as well. So those anchors have probably failed um, inside of the foam. These are looking, looking great. Um, this bottom one here also feeling pretty solid. This drawer had the most weight in it. It had a cast iron pan. Um, so <clears throat> I think that cast iron pan, it actually had two cast iron pans in it for a while. I think that um, lateral motion, the, the screw is going in this way and in the earthquake, the pressure is being uh, pulling down on it. So uh, that I think is why, where and why uh, that, is, that is happening in there. When we go to loosen these uh, screws, um, since, the, since the foam anchor uh, theoretically has failed, uh, it's good chance, yeah, they're just gonna rotate in there. Uh, the ones that have failed are gonna rotate in there and not gonna want to unscrew. So we're just gonna have to pull those out if they don't want to unscrew. This particular one is unscrewing from its, from its uh, drywall anchor, so that's great. Okay, so that one's not working either. I'm gonna keep unscrewing it just to get it to come out of the, the wall. And here's what we're left with. Switching over to the other side of the cabinet here. Now, I didn't think that this uh, anchor had failed because it's pretty solid in there. But when I go to unscrew it, I can see the anchor moving in there. And I think it's gonna fail when I go to take this out. Yeah. Yeah, no dice there. So that's another one I'm gonna have to fix. Let's see if this one, yeah, this one's fine. Try to find the rest of these screws, the back one there, and then where is the other one? I can tell there's another one. There we go. Awesome. So what's happened here is that the the, the anchor um, uh, was receiving pressure perpendicular to the uh, screw. It was rocking in here up and down this way. 
uh, the center one that had the screw that uh, has not failed. Uh, it was pivoting on that and the drawer was uh, moving this way and that way. Uh, putting pressure on the two uh, that were on the end and not putting as much pressure on the one that was in in the middle. Uh, making this one uh, bounce around in there like this, eventually digging uh, it apart. Now, for this particular fix, I could put, uh, you know, uh, new screw holes wherever I wanted. I have a bunch of holes in this uh, uh, drawer slide, so I don't necessarily have to reuse this particular hole. But I would like to, I'm going to, instead reuse this same hole uh, because I know that there would be some situations where you would have to reuse the same exact placement of the screw, right? If it was... Uh, for, for some other reason where you didn't have a bunch of uh, options for your screw holes. I'm going to do one of these uh, with the Gorilla Glue uh, in there after cleaning it out with a brand new anchor inside of there. And I'm going to do the other one with uh, the flexible uh, Gorilla HD uh, stuff uh, and see over time if there's any difference between those two. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to correct the or original problem which is not having two uh, heavy duty uh, cast iron pots in one drawer. So obviously uh, physics being physics, uh, you know, this didn't, this didn't work out very well. So uh, I still wanna follow this, uh, you know, down the rabbit hole. Um, I don't think I would do it on any of the other fixes. Um, I think I just go with the Gorilla HD uh, because it's more of a paste and uh, sets up like like that, right? Uh, and it holds its shape much better. Um, here's that one that we did with the Gorilla Glue paste. And uh, I think we have a pretty solid bond in there right now. So for this one, I'm just gonna add some more uh, Gorilla Glue in there and uh, put some more duct tape on it uh, just to try to hold that in there um, and let it harden uh, again overnight. All right, next day. I mean, that should be fine. All right, as I install these last few drawer slides here, uh, let's just talk about what we've learned. So uh, thing number one, uh, really heavy uh, pots and pans or anything that's heavy going into these drawers, uh, I think just in general. I mean, the drawer spring actions broke as well as the, 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 the anchors. So I think you just need to keep the drawers light uh, as a good rule, whether you're building with foam or something else. Then the second thing is, is that when one starts to fail, it's gonna make the other ones start to fail, obviously. And um, pretty easy to fix, actually. And those, uh, as I'm screwing these in, I'm realizing that uh, they're taking uh, you know, pretty hard crank downs on the, the screwdriver there. That's why I'm using the screwdriver rather than my uh, screw drill. Uh, I want to be able to feel uh, the, the tension that I'm uh, putting on those um, and make sure I'm not springing it out. Um, all of them go back in. A little bit of uh, adjustment on a few of them just to get it uh, you know, to be in a good state uh, and closing uh, properly. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at them. They're all working fantastically now. Uh, need to clean them up a little bit. But uh, other than that, uh, we're, we're off to the races. All of them behaving. A little bit of rub maybe on that one. But uh, yeah, it's like a brand new set of drawers. Uh, mostly I just needed to adjust the positioning of the screws. Uh, fixed three out of, I don't know, uh, two dozen maybe uh, screw holes. So pretty happy with uh, that. Yeah, like and subscribe if you like this content, and um, let me know in the comments below if you have any uh, feedback on this one. Yeah, check out the tour video and uh, the, that little show you the highlights of all of the uh, things that I've done in this van, and uh, throw me a comment on the tour video of what you would like to see uh, me do in the near future. Thanks. See you next time. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Perfect timing. Perfect timing.